get the one from my camera. Right. You guys want to get in there a little bit, please? Okay, this is a class in primate behavior um, and ecology. And what we are studying here in Belize is two different kinds of monkeys. There's the spider monkey and the black howler monkey. monkey is the black howler monkey is very endangered. Um, Fortunately, there was a big community effort at the Baboon Community Sanctuary in Bermuda Landing. And um, what they had done back in about 1981 is they noticed there were a number of howler monkeys in the riparian forest there along the river. And so they decided to work with the local farmers and the community to preserve the black howlers by not hunting them and um, also allowing trees to grow in between people's properties and not cutting down forest on the river. Students have been climbing up this mound right here to the top and there's a small kind of platform area at the top. It's an ancient Mayan temple. <laughs> we um, Stephanie and I have, we actually I can't even tell, you probably have at least two dozen recordings of howler monkeys and we tried to get as many in as we could, like full duration, but we only got uh, a few into where we actually have video and audio, but we have written records for everything. We've been getting up, we've been going to bed about 12.30 every night because we've been staying up to hear them howl, and then we get up at 3.30 every morning so we can catch them before they start howling at 4. And we've been doing this for about four day, or three days now, so we're kind of on the edge, but we take naps after lunch. And we have, a, we have a ton of data. I have a notebook that's almost completely full now, full of everything. It's just really, really good. And Stephanie is actually going to use it for her grant that she's going to try and propose. And we're going to try and see if we can't do some more with it.
So what our class has been trying to do is really get in an idea of what these primates are like in the wild. If you study the spider monkeys at the El Paso Zoo, they don't have trees that they can be in. And these are monkeys that never come down to the ground um, in the wild, and you cannot get an impression of what a real spider monkey is like, even though you have them in a zoo. Um, it's not, it's, you realize how, how different those spider monkeys are in the El Paso Zoo, and that they, they kind of shouldn't be there, because it's, they're not acting like their species. Shoots. Or his bug spray. Simon, that's like, uh, we say Simon, like, yes, yes, guy, yes, man. Yes, Simon. 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 Everybody at all times, try to be very quiet. If you have to talk, talk in whispers. They'll come in this direction, they'll go down towards the path, and then they'll come back around and do a huge circle, maybe it'll take them about 30 to 45 minutes. So if you stay in one spot, you'll get to see them more than once. The best spot though is high up. So we've been seeing these differences between spider monkeys and howler monkeys and even their interactions with us, the humans. Um, the spider monkeys are harder to watch because they are more fast. Um, the howlers we have a lot of observations for. see kikajous and um, crocodiles and some other kinds of animals too. We're learning a lot about conservation. Both uh, the program for Belize, which is here at La Milpa Station, and the Baboon Community Sanctuary are very important uh, for conserve conservation of forest and the animals and the primates that live in them. wonderful to be part of this by staying here we're actually contributing dollars to the conservation effort mm -hmm.